peace people um this story is about dog walks 125 miles with tears in her eyes to find owner who abandoned her and of course as you can see here this is a bull massive um she was abandoned by her owners they left her somewhere and that owners just took off with leaving her there a little dog walked 125 miles with tears in her eyes in an attempt to find the owners who had abandoned her and so she had walked 125 miles and you know that's a lot for a dog to be walking just to find their owners but you know but the owners had abandoned her and you know this was wrong of the owners to um abandon this beautiful dog Maru a one-year-old bull mastiff was sold to a couple in I can't even say that word but it's in Russia about six months ago but the dog was returned to the kennel when the woman claimed to be allergic to the animal yes so Maro is a one-year-old bull mastiff and, and she was sold to somebody in Russia about six months ago but the dog was returned to a kennel so the person who had the dog they returned her to the kennel and um, um that person also told the people at the kennel that she was allergic however as maru was being transported along the trans siberian railway to novosvirsk she managed to escape the train using her paws to open the compartment door as it stopped briefly in a small station near Akash. I don't know that word either. Alright, so the dog was being transported along the Trans Siberian Railway, railway to that place. There are some words in here I won't be able to say, so please, I'm not familiar with Russian words. All right, she managed, this dog also managed to escape the train, but she was using her, and she was using her paws to open the compartment door. Um, here is a picture of this beautiful massive, bull massive. And, I mean, she is a beautiful dog. Why would anybody just abandon this beautiful dog? As reported by the Siberian Times, kennel owner Ala Morozova mm -hmm. had come to an agreement with Maru's owners to put her on the train and return her to the kennel. So yeah, so the owners had agreed with it to put her on a train and return her to the kennel. So now, so the owners still don't want her. Why couldn't they just take her to the kennel in the first place where she'll be adopted out to somebody to a, lo a good loving home? I mean, really abandoning these animals are just plain outrageous i mean t if you don't want your animal don't give do not get them let them stay at the kennel where somebody else can get them to a loving home more Mo rova zova explained i never give up my puppies and when a dog is bought it is stipulated that the owner should inform me if they do not need a dog anymore yes yeah, so this is what the person explained if the owners don't want their dogs then they should tell them that they don't want a dog no more part of the agreement was an attendant would be with the animal at all times on the long journey to take care of her However, 125 miles into the journey, Maru got scared and fled the train as it came to a stop. So, yes, yeah, so the dog um, got scared when the train came to a stop. And, of course, 125 miles into the journey, that's a very long, long walk for a dog. And, of course, here's another screenshot of this beautiful mass of... I, I mean, I just feel sorry for the animal that people are the owners of her had abandoned her. Then somebody else didn't want her. They took took her back to the kennel, claiming to be allergic mm -hmm. to the dog. What else is? I mean, this is 
unbelievable what these owners did to her. Despite the train only stopping momentarily, Monroe managed to escape from the person looking after her, jumping on the compartment door and kicking the handle to open it before jumping out like a bullet. So yeah, so Monroe managed to escape from the person who was looking after her. She, the, she did not want that owner at all, did not want that person to be her owner, so she had, um, escaped from her and I'm jumping on a compartment door and kicking the handle to open it for jumping out like a bullet. So this beautiful mess of wants her owners that abandoned her but you know I mean I wouldn't even I wouldn't even give the owners back their dog at all because if you go to abandon your dog and not take it to a nearby shelter then why have pets? I'm serious. Why have pets? It doesn't make any sense for people to be um it doesn't make any sense for anybody to have a pet if you're not going to take care of it. Morova Zovia said the dog had a panic attack and was frightened, explaining she had been brought by her owners. Then they disappeared somewhere. The noise of the train scared her. So yes, yeah, so the train scared the dog. Of course anything is going to scare a dog. Um, the dog was frightened, had a panic attack. What else is, I mean, I know dogs don't like a lot of noise, and I can understand that. But what this dog is going through is a whole lot worse than what you think. After Maru jumped out into the night, the tenant attempted to shout for her, but she failed to return. Upon realizing she wasn't coming back, the owners were called and asked to help search for the animal. So now, the um, the attendant tried to sh tried to shout of uh, to her to, for her to come back, but the dog would not come back. So the owners had to be called and asked to help search for the animal. I, I wouldn't even bother with the owners either because, I mean, why have the owners come looking for a dog that they abandoned? It, it's so ridiculous of them. However, they refused with Rosova stating they were not upset at all and didn't care that their dog was lost. They gave the dog away and the load fell off their shoulders. The kennel owner explained. Alright, so the dog owners didn't care about her. They didn't want to go look for her to return her back to the kennel. So and that's and um they didn't want the load anymore. The load fell off their shoulders. So they just decided on we're not gonna go look for her. And you know, it's sad that you can't look for a help look for a dog to return her to a kennel. And here is um Ma Maru, the beautiful massive dog looking so sad. I think she might be at the kennel, I am not sure. Morozova posted messages in an attempt to find the lost dog and distribute leaflets asking for information incredibly maru was found just two and a half days later in an industrial area of whatever that word is where she had been living with her owners the kennel owner said it was lucky she hadn't been attacked by bears or wolves on her journey with Morozova, assuming the dog had followed the railroad railway track the entire 125 miles back to the city. So yeah, the dog really did walk 125 miles back to the city with tears in her eyes because she wants her owners and the owners don't want her back no more. So they, this is why the dog is crying because she wants to be loved and she wants to be fed and held or played with and everything, but the owners decided not to go look for her. Um, of course, the uh, lost dog distributed leaflets asking for information, of course, and, and um, you know, it's just sad. If you 
don't want your pets or whatever, just give them to your local shelter. Let them put them up for adoption for a loving home. Because these animals do not deserve to be abandoned whatsoever at all. And if you do have a pet that you want to keep, please take care of them. Don't let them be sad and then have tears come out of their eyes. Because, you know, animals have feelings too. And, and they need a lot of love. When Myra was found, the pads on her paws were damaged and she had sustained injuries to her muzzle after falling from the railway embankment. I'm sorry. The dog was extremely tired with the volunteers who rescued her, claiming she was even in tears. Yeah, so the um the volunteers rescued this dog. Um her she had injuries to her muzzle for falling from the railroad embankment. Um, the dog was totally tired, obviously. And um, even the, um, the volunteers, they saw tears in the dog's eye. Maru has since been reunited with her biological mom and dad in the kennels in Novo, I don't know, is being treated to help her recover from her ordeal. Yes, so my the dog's name is Maru, and um, she's been reunited with her biological mom and dad. And other, I guess the bull, there's other bull mastiffs too, but that she was reunited with. And, um, she is being treated for, to help her recover from her ordeal. So that's a good thing. The dog is being recovered. Um. She is going to get a lot of love there at the kennels until somebody can adopt her and um, give her a, to a loving home where she belongs. Because the owners, they just did not want her anymore. They said, not, we're not going to help look for her. So they abandoned her. They just decided they couldn't, have, they couldn't handle her because, what, well, bull massive? Well, it's a big dog. Yeah, I understand that. But, shoot. Not having her and abandoning her, that's a big mistake. Don't ever leave your pets abandoned because you know they will have tears coming out of their eyes, and you know, and they're not and they don't know what is going on. And I tell you, because all they want is love, attention, and, and to be played with that's all they want. Never abandon a pet that you don't if you that you have if you don't want her. Take her to, don't want that pet, I mean, take it to a local shelter where it can get a loving home. Leave your comments below. I am out.